Hello my lovelies. Um, thought we'd have another play with the IT Cosmetics Beauty Book which you can now get from QVC unless it's sold out. Um, I've done one look with it previously so I will put a link for you but this is the Beauty Book that has a lot of the IT Cosmetic favourites. So you have the concealers which you know I love, um, the Bye Bye Pores Powder which I've become quite obsessed with fabulous bronzer which I've actually used as eyeshadow as well and may do that today then we have the lovely glow powder which is a blusher highlighter three lipsticks but I've used them as blushes as well you have the highlighter specific highlighter there um, and I have actually popped that on my lips and then the wonderful choice of eyeshadows there's an eyelid primer and then you have the brow and eyeliner as well so we're going to use it again pick um, little bits and pieces from there the rosacea as you can see is having a flare up at the moment just how it is but it's good for you to see it in different stages this is quite sore um, not very pleasant but hey ho um, I'm just going to go in with the sheer liquid illuminator from Cassie Lomas but I absolutely love the stuff so we're just going to pop it on quite liberally and blend it all over the face. And as you can see, you get an absolutely beautiful glow to the skin. I just love it for that reason. It's really, really lovely. Um, I'm going to actually do the eyes first for a change. I do occasionally do it that way, but out of years of habit of doing my base first, um, that's what I've tended to do. But no, we're going to do the eyes first today. So eyes, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime the eyelids. I'm not going to use the powder in the palette this time. I'm going to use the Makeup Academy Pro Base, which is just a peachy um, tone of colour. And I'm going to use quite a wide-headed brush. I'm just going to load, load that creamy colour up. Then I might go over with the powder after. So just a small sort of round headed brush. I'm going to start with Ember, which is a sort of burgundy brown shade nice and strong it's a matte color and i'm just going to take that here so just pushing that color in And following the round shape of my eye. Then I'm going to use All Heart, which is this sort of lilac shimmer shade. Place that over the mobile lid. Then I'm going to use some of the sparkler, which is this golden shade here. And we're just going to take that above ember. And then I'm going in with the shade next to it, which is Glimmer, slightly lighter shade, just a very light coating on quite a fluffy brush for that one. And then with the fluffy brush, just blending everything 
softening some of those edges together. Back in with the dark shade of Ember again. I'm just going to take that and just push and intensify the colour just in that corner. Then I've got a pencil brush and I'm going to take under the eye, I'm going to use a little bit of Dash which is the sort of mushroom shade. Then I'm going to use some of the um, Un Universal Taupe, which is actually the brow powder colour, but that is such a nice matte taupe shade. And I'm going to just take that over the mushroom just to intensify that line. Just building shades and colour. Then I'm going to use this sort of shimmery satin colour here, which is a brown, and it's called Flicker, again on the pencil brush. Just swirl that around. And then we're going to use Ember on the pencil brush. Fluffy brush again. pulling that colour up. I don't like sort of sharp lines um, because my eyes are quite rounded but if you want to do a really sharp line then you can do one. Again use the All Heart which is that nice shimmer pink. A little bit of ember Then on the fluffy brush, I'm just going to use some of the glimmer, which is that lightest shade again that we use right at the top. So you could emphasize your eyebrows. I'm not going to because mine are an absolute disgrace at the moment. I am going to add some eyeliner. This is a liquid liner from Lola. You could use tape to tape off where you want to go. There. I'm going to prime the top lashes. 
This is the L'Oreal Lash Primer. There's just one other thing I want to do, which is to use that fabulous bronzer, Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. Tap off the excess and just take that. I just want a bit more depth with that orange. And a little bit of bronzer is perfect. So let's put some mascara on the top lashes. This is Monsieur Big from Langomme. We're going to put some concealer on. I've got some of the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Concealer. I'm going to use a wide brush and just place that under the eye. And I've taken my eye colour quite low down. So you've just got to be a little bit careful when placing. Then, if you've got excess, work gently with your fingers. So don't panic when it looks a bit stark. And remember, you haven't evened up the rest of your face, so it's going to look a little bit unusual. Right, I'm going to use some of the By Terry um, Light Click Expert Light Expert Click Brush in the shade five. going on the centre of the face. And the forehead. And then just using a sponge. Right, we're going to use that bronzer again as a bronzer. I absolutely love this. I'm glad I photographed this palette when I first got it because I've used it so much that it's it looks well loved and used. Then I'm going to use the sort of top half of the shimmer palette, the It Girl Bubbly palette look at that then I'm going to just use the warmth of my fingers and the Je Ne Sais Quoi lipstick here. I'm actually just going to use that as a nice pink blush. And I'm just going to apply that just softly. On the cheek area. And then you can either use the um, Adorn, which is this sort of bluey toned lip colour. I'm just going to use my finger and pop this on. So that picks up. Okay. 
the sort of purpley tones in the eye colour. So that's one look you could use. Very subtle on the lip, let the eyes do the talking. Or you can go all out and use Thrill, which is this very fabulous red colour. And they have a very strong evening out look. We're definitely going to powder because I'm obsessed with the Bye Bye Pores powder. It is translucent. Sometimes white translucent powders can be a mistake. But this is like icing sugar. And it just disappears. But it leaves the most beautiful, evanescent glow to the skin takes down the shine but without losing your inner glow and I love it very flattering under the eye as well I've discovered it doesn't crease doesn't sit in any fine lines and you can keep applying it as well So there we go. That is my look. Look at that. Oh, that highlighter. That's my IT It Girl Beauty book, my second look. I hope you enjoyed that. I am obsessed. You can probably see how grubby this is already looking because I've been playing with it so, so much. It's had a lot of love and a lot of use already. But yeah, head over to QVC, have a look at IT Cosmetics, grab one if there are any left. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, look forward to your comments and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now. Thank you.